Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, people of, of uh, all genders and some such, adjacent to and outside the box, welcome back to Dredge. Where we last left off, the we found the lighthouse keeper here, apparently looking displeased. Not sure why. She thought she has a fairly long laundry list of reasons. I saw you sailing out towards the horizon, crossing that deep expanse. Do you really think that's wise? It was fine. Maybe this time. You need to be more careful. Even you, with all your experience, cannot truly know the ocean. Nobody can. Abruptly, she walks away. Her eyes scan the water as she walks along the dock. Mayor, what can I do for you this time? Wants to ask about the one. Certainly. Is there somewhere in particular you wish to know more about? Uh, Blackstone Isle. Hmm, I don't know a great deal. It technically falls under the jurisdiction of Little Marrow, but I believe it was sold to a private owner some 20 years ago. It must have had a special arrangement. Such a sale is quite uncommon. Very complicated paperwork involved, you see. I have not met the owner. I suspect they don't live around here. The island seems quite uninhabited. Is there another area you'd like to discuss? Gale Cliffs. Home of Steve, the dickbag. Well, the main port over there is a place called Ingfell. It's uh, right on the approach to the cliffs. You can't miss it. It's a whaling town, but I haven't heard much talk of it these days. I think quite a few people have left one way or another. Is there another area you'd like to discuss? Stellar Basin's where I'm headed next. Quite a popular tourist destination. There's a resort on the atoll, uh, built on top of a beautiful coral reef. I'm sure there's a wide variety of fish there. Maybe you fancy getting your hooks into some of those. Another area you'd like to discuss? I will save those for later when I'm actually heading there, because I don't want to get spoilers. Granted, I know what they kind of are. Tangles, sort of like a mangrove, which, you know, I think Lion Rod said. The other one's a volcano. Uh, yeah, what happened to the last fisherman? Hmm, the last fisherman? Oh, uh, he was very unreliable. He'd go out at night, come back with no fish, and proceed to sleep all day. He was also a terrible captain. I mean, really terrible. Constantly running aground on the reef, even at broad daylight. The shipwright almost ran out of wood for repairs. No, he was no good. One evening, he left and never came back. So long, he shan't be missed by us. Yeah, I found him. Well, what was left of his boat. 90% sure he's dead. You got any more wood than that? I gotta send a storage. Those I'm still using. This I gotta get fixed. Uh, ship right. Fix my stuff, cause I'm broken. I already got that. Okay, uh, so, lighthouse keeper. Except for like the fog, it's behaving as though it's reacting to the lights that cut through it. It swirls and crashes against the edges. From the top of the lighthouse, I can see dark figures seething in the thickest tracks, out beyond Little Marrow where the lights diminish. Of all that I've seen, your lights seem to anger them the most. Thank you. Now for larger fish, I'll keep more mouths so I can pay you more for them. Uh, how much money do I have, sorry? 273, okay. 59. I'll just round it up. Yeah, 273. I can count. I promise. Okay, 639. I'm gonna go to bed. Get a nice 12 hours. Then head up to... Actually, where, where am I going next? Stellar Basin is the next port of call. At least that I need to go to. Steel Point is where the lady is. Do I have any pursuits that I need? Rotting Conger Eel. Not dealing with that. Or Fish. I need the Abyssal thing for that. Uh, not sure where the rest of these. Just some imagining is the going to be the Volcano. That one I think was... Oh, and actually, I think that was the Mangrove. And I think she's pretty sure she said that was the other one. I need the Abyssal one for that, is for that. But I know exactly where it is. Snake Mackerel. No idea where that is. Probably the Miscellaneous Spots. Stellar Basin is going to be the next one. It's my next port of call. These are just chilling there. Pick that up. Pick that up. Pick that up. Pick that up. Uh, I'll hang on to that. I could sell that. I think if I wanted to. And I'll head over. Actually, get some research done. Research. Uh, mm 
Okay, so there's a mangrove shallow net, a volcanic shallow net, a trawl net, I can English, tempered mesh net, large trawl net, and that's the ocean, oceanic trawl net, okay. Uh, da, da, da. Coastal, shallow, mangrove, and volcanic. That one's going to be a fun one, but it's also going to be expensive. Okay, that's more cargo spaces. That's five new cargo spaces and additional impact, so I could take two hits from Steve and still be able to survive. That's an extra engine spot. Okay, so... Let's head down to Stellar Basin, I guess, because I don't actually have any more things to do immediately around here. Though I really got to get some more fish, so sell these. I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna start fishing some more because I need some extra spending cash, and it's just a good thing to do. Damn it! Missed that trophy. I'm gonna leave it at there. Probably gonna have to get a bunch of mackerel. get some wood though because I definitely need that oh there's still some in there okay so there's some stingrays little morrow trader some of stuff 80 bucks I'll take that I'll take that action uh, I can fit another piece of wood there. Now, Grieving Father. Anything else? No, nothing else from Grieving Father. Corrupted Dockmaster. Doesn't care about me. Storage. Nah, it's gonna be in there anyway, so I don't really care. Flounder. That's it for that. I think I'm going to go grab that wood. Lots of inventory sorting in this game. Okay. So, yeah. Kind of a slow start so far. But uh, I still gotta get some spending cash, and I really gotta get that oceanic line because I want to start catching some sharks. Uh, okay, so fishmonger first, hundred bucks, not bad for a day's work. Up storage, get that out of there. Got to be dry dock. All right, halfway there, just two more. Well, not half, far, much farther than halfway there, but halfway done with the wood. Just need two more lumber, then 500 bucks. But I also can afford, I can find it, the Oceanic Hydraulic Rod. Very nice, quite expensive. I also probably should get one of these pardon, at, at some point, but for this, right now, I'm just going to get this. Oh, there we go. Four hours for the install. Oh, feeling prepared. Install equipment and end to every slot on your ship. Alright, gonna rest up. Then I'm gonna go catch, try and catch some sharks. What do I got? So, 160% fishing speed. 
want to keep that sinew spindle in there because it's still very useful. Uh, I'm just going to take up too much space, but let's go and try and catch some sharks. Uh, yeah, there's some out here. I think I might head up to Steel Point, see if I can't catch them, get some uh, more materials. Ooh. Whew, mud. The Bronze Whaler. Beautifully colored, but deadly predator. Okay, this is a really bizarrely shaped fish. Nine foot eight feet, good lord. Alright, uh. I do not want to discard my fucking stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to keep this. Let's take a look at that encyclopedia entry. Yeah, just beautifully colored, but deadly predator. 9 foot 8 was the trophy variant. And it does have an aberration. I have not found that yet. Whatever that is. It's going to be some, just some cod or something. Got to save the rest of that room for supplies. But now I can catch oceanic stuff. Though I might want to rearrange some of this for next time. I am. I got time. Might take a look around in here too, because I don't think I've ever actually done that. That's cloth. There's some wood. That's all I needed for right now. Actually, wait. Ever so gently. Medium sized brain idea, because this is not a big brain idea, because I'm not a big brain. Not a big old galaxy brain. So, storage. Pop, pop. Keeping you in there, because I don't really want to leave that in the storage spot. Builder. Yeah, okay, so she doesn't need anything. Probably just the end of that quest line. It might come up later, though. Alright, so... 3 p.m. Just take a quick peek through here. Hey, there's an SOS camp. Time to save some people. Do my good deed for the day. I'm saved! Saved! Oh, you are a sight for these sore eyes! What happened, man? I washed up here. Oh, it must have been some two weeks ago now. We were in rough seas, and when a wave hit us broadside, I was jostled overboard and swept away. thought my crew would come to find me by now, but here's the first ship I've seen pass by here. Did the boys send you looking for me? I want to say yes and be nice, but no. Oh, well, I'm sure they're out looking anyways. Can you get me the little marrow, stranger? I should be able to catch them when they next stop by. Yeah, sure. As, uh, Oof. Oh, one second. Sorry. Thing freezes up sometimes. God damn it. Oh. I don't have room for this guy, and I don't want to get rid of my cool fish. I'm gonna come back. I'm sorry, man. I really hope he doesn't die there. I don't have the room for you, man. I, I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> These damn sharks are too big. I promise. Okay, I'm gonna go straight back for that guy. Because I'm not an asshole. Not like Steve. Ooh, I hear spooky noises. 
I don't like spooky noises. I see a spooky guy out there. And there should be a rock that shows up. Oh, I guess it doesn't show up anymore. Oh, I guess it doesn't show up till I get a little bit crazier. All right, fishmonger. Here is your giant ass shark. Storage, take. Okay, because that was bothering me. Dry dock, new hole. Yes, please, yes, please. I do not have the money for it, but it's there. I really hope that castaway guy doesn't die. I don't think they can die because of that, just because I wasn't there. Pursuits. Pick up the castaway. Okay, good. I might honestly uninstall this at some point, but not right now. First, first order of business. Gonna go save that guy's life. Hopefully he'll be happy and thankful. And not start screaming at me for being a dick for leaving him. Don't worry. I'm gonna call him Jeffrey. Don't worry, Jeffrey. I'm coming. I'm on my way. Help is a coming. I mean, you could probably actually get here in the demo. I don't. I just don't think I ever actually went over this way. Oh. Yes, Jeffrey, I'm here, Jeffrey. Let's go, Jeffrey. Castaway climbs aboard. To Little Marrow we go, Jeffrey. If I could figure out where the hell I'm going. I wonder if this is the same kind. Don't have room for it. Oh well. Too bad, so sad. That is not coastal. We are so far off the coast. Cause that's like a straight fucking plunge from like here on. Little Marrow. What oh come on. Hang on, did I? Yeah, it's odd. Weird. Not sure that oh well. It clicked off the screen for a second, so it froze up. The sweet rank smell of civilization. I thought I'd never miss it. He turns to you. For someone who has just been saved, he seems gloomy. I've not much on me, as you can imagine, and I have a feeling this isn't worth much anymore, for me at least. But perhaps it'll be worth something for you. He removes a signet ring from his left hand and presses it into yours. It's emblazoned with the symbol of a captain's wheel. Such a symbol is sure to bring good luck to any captain that holds it. On to better horizon, friend. Farewell. Hmm. Well, so I could sell it for 90 bucks. But I'm gonna hold on to it. That was a gift. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that. For right now. You say as I immediately toss it away. Good to see you, too. Okay, I'd like to imagine that there's probably some big questline thing or something that goes along with this, but probably not. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm just, I'm gonna just hang on to it anyways. It was a gift. I'm gonna keep it. Okay, so that was that. I could explore around here a little bit more, but I should probably hit, get hang down to Stellar Basin. I'm a rest. It's only 12, 12 o'clock, but I'd rather be mostly daylight while I'm still there. Probably should have turned off my lights. That's really going to drain the battery. To Stellar Basin we go. Yes, this way. Yeah, this is more bronze whalers. Turn off the lights. 
So more brown spoilers. More brown spoilers. That does not look like brown spoilers. And that looks like a spooky. The all seeing card. Okay, that's enough for me. Alright, let's check out this little shipwreck here. Which, amazingly, I don't think I've actually gone to. Or, no, I have. This is just supplies. Potentially useful, but I don't need them right now. The next big thing is cash money. That looks to be uh, the Atoll. And mm, nothing in the middle there. Gonna Wow, that is really just a sheer drop off. Oh, and now we're getting over to the reef. I'm just going to check out this little island here. Something tells me there's something on here. It's already 3.30. My god. My treasure senses are tingling. Don't let me down, treasure senses. Damn it, treasure senses. Why did you fail me? Okay, into the into the eight hole we go. God, that sun is just shooting down. And now it's instantly dying down. Ho oh, shit. Guess the jellies are angry here. Okay, up here, just the nearest port of call. Well, it looks like there's the thing. And I think if I get too close, it's gonna kill me. Oh god. Oh god! Oh my god! Okay, I'm safe now. Research outpost. Laboratory. The laboratory is in ruins, with equipment and research papers strewn about the place. Uh, let's check the cupboards. We check the cupboards. I will take a research post. You empty the cupboards. Where do you want to look? Equi inspect the equipment. There's some strange looking prototype parts on the table, but you can't see any use for them right now. On the other side of the table, you find a hastily scrawled note. It reads, not safe, expect, expect retaliation imme imminently, Re evacuating to fort. I can read, I promise. Look around on the floor. You look around on the floor, there are cracks in the base of the structure that grow to large gashes as you follow them along the walls. Something extremely large and powerful created these holes. You slowly reach your arm into one. Another research part. You pluck an item from the gouge on the floor. Check out the generator. Old generator sputters and takes over. Okay. Rest, because it's late. I can't get time. That's a big old fish. That is 100% the gold for real. And that's Hadel, which is even deeper. Yeah, I'm 90% sure if I go out in the middle of that, I'm going to get smacked. Okay, so instead of evacuating the fort, so looks like we're heading over there. What are you? Barracuda. Wow, that is a long fish. Yeah, barracudas are fucking scary fish. They got a shitload of, like, razor-sharp teeth, man. If one of those bites onto you, like, whoosh, that's come. All that flesh in its teeth, that's coming off. The 6th and 7th of March, 1927. This is way earlier. 
We are engaged to be married. He sailed us out to the very center of Stellar Basin to see the lights. We talked for hours, something we have not done in such a long time. Waiting and hoping. Some time past midnight, as we were growing delirious and hysterical from the lack of sleep, the aurora shimmered into the skies above. When I turned to see his reaction, he was already down on one knee. I can't even remember what he said or what I said, but I know that I said yes. The ring is beautiful, with a span of jewels going right the way around. I cannot take my eyes off of it. P.S. I was not sure whether to write this under yesterday's date or today's, given that it occurred at the conjunction of days, but I feel the news is significant enough to warrant spanning multiple entries. That's cute. Yeah, ferocious fish hunting great for speed, hunting prey by biting its prey clean in half. Yeah, it can do that. I actually lived in Florida. Uh, that's where I was born and raised. Nice place, if you don't mind the insane humidity. Or the ever so likely possibility of finding a bunch of crocodiles in the street. That does happen, especially after heavy rain. Researcher. Oh, um, hello. I wasn't expecting visitors. Uh, who are you? Ah, yes, I thought you had a look, but a fisherman all the way out here? Strange. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you all the same. I have not seen another soul in months. In fact, I could do with your help if you had the time. Sure, fuck it. I know, man. Need help collecting samples to study. I was originally posted the research outpost on the interior of the basin, but it was attacked. A large creature emerged from the depths and destroyed the outpost. Now it rests in the center of the basin. I fled here and have been making do as best I can, but I leave most of my equipment behind, so my research has come to a halt. Take a look at the list. Aurora jellyfish, glowing octopus, and firefly squid. I have none of these. Uh, got a sense it was attacking the research outpost itself rather than specifically. I suspect it was disturbed by some of the mon my monitoring equipment. There are dozens of machines running there, all powered by a noisy generator. It's huge, larger than any other marine species I've studied. It attacked with tentacles, so I'd guess some sort of octopus or squid. Or an enemy. One of my research vessels was moored around the back of the station, so I managed to slip away in that while I was tearing apart the front. There's a lot of valuable data and equipment left there, but I'm not going back. I can't. I won't face it again. Do you want the stuff? Because I, I can go get it. Don't much stuff. Uh, I don't think there's much to say. I studied in biological sciences at Ian Havens College. It was a struggle, but there were no other female students in the department that year, or the year before, or the year before that. It's hard not to feel like an outsider in an environment that like that, you know? You probably don't. When I graduated, I managed to land a job at Northern Biological Research Society, NBRS, and then, well, I was posted here. By myself. I thought I would relish the peace and quiet, but I miss having company. I've always had someone, or at least a pet. Out here, it's just machines. Is there anything else? Now that you mention it, I've been so preoccupied with the attack and having to rebuild here, I'd almost forgotten. I found these letters from my sister. She'd sent them to me while I was studying, but before, before she... The research is quiet for a moment and stares off to the side. Anyway, I, I kept finding them amongst my papers. I don't remember packing them, but I must have. I started finding them more frequently. They, they turned up in my collection nets and my sampling tubes. There were letters I'd never seen before, but they were in her writing. They were in her name. They were saying things. Talking about things that happened after she died. I, I can't explain it. Okay, so she's getting a bunch of cursed-ass letters from her dead sister. Okay, so research outpost. There's one more dock down here. I'm going to go check out that thing. Definitely avoid going into the center of the island, because I know I'm going to get my cheeks clapped if I do that. And not in the fun way. Probably should use those research points, but whatever. I'll do that when I get down there. Alright. Wait, Mayor did say that this place was a resort, so what's down there is probably the resort itself. Coral grouper. Oh, yeah, these things are nice fish. I am not seeing a resort. Or actually, no, that, that place over there was probably the resort. This... Hey, it's the Wandering Trader. I guess she's just at all of them simultaneously, but you know she goes, she slips between them while you're not paying attention. Starlit Pontoon, traveling merchant. Hey again, come by for a chat. Okay, uh, fish market. Sell money, love money. Money is great. Research engines. 
twin prop engine. Hmm. Okay, so now we have the complex crab pot and the massive crab pot. Rods, uh... I'll just get the twin prop, I guess. Okay, coral looper. Collect all samples. Glowing octopus, firefly squid, and aurora jellyfish. Well, squid are a nighttime thing, so I'm going to have to do that at night. I imagine the same of the aurora jellyfish, and for the most part, more than likely, the octopus as well. Which sounds like a lot of fun. That's probably just more coral loopers. And here's my insanity thing. Nothing. So I gotta be kind of nuts to actually interact with this thing. Wait, do I still? Don't have any pack explosives. Okay, so this is another explosive thing. And that looks to be some more refined metal. So that's going to be that. That's probably Barracuda. Alright. See if there's anything good and shiny for me here, and then call it. Opal earrings. Can I actually catch this thing? Oh, that might be a dredge. Uh, not a dredge, a trawling thing. I have to go get a trawling nut. I'd call that an octopus. Glowing octopus. Is that the actual thing, or is that a... No, that's... Okay, no, it does have an aberration. I eh, might as well grab another one. Probably should turn that back on. That'd be the smart thing. But I hate that. No, sir. Yeah, my, I think I'm going to have to get the trawling net to catch those. Let's see if I can't get the aberration. I'll just discard this one. Medusa octopus. Man, I should have just waited for... Come on. Make me crazy. That's a lot of glowing octopi around here. Come on. Please stay out there. I don't think whatever that is can go through thing can go through walls. There we go. Stone trembles before you place your hands on the stone. A sudden chill rushes through the marrow of your bones, surging up your arms, your neck, a deep vision enters your mind. <clears throat> a spore floats on the water, adrift in the current. Fish feast in a frenzy above, devouring its kin. The spore lands on the thick silt of the seafloor. Its roots stretch down into the seabed, growing, extending towards what lies beneath. Okay, so all those tentacles might actually be from an enemy. 
Whoa, shit. Not sure what that was. Don't like that, though. Yeah, I'm kind of crazy. Let's talk to a nice lady. Hi, yes, here's a glowing squid. Eight snapping mouse crowds crowd, ah, crawl over each other at the behest of a silent master. Okay, I'm gonna actually look at that uh, now, actually. Uh, that's a cool looking fish. All right, firefly squid. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, so that's a hooking, that's like, fishing and trawling this one actually yeah that's definitely definitely just trawling okay so gonna call it here actually let me see but uh thank you all for tuning in this is probably a bit more eventful though not as eventful as the last episode the last episode was a great one uh, i'm at 36 minutes a little over where i wanted to be uh thank you all for tuning in uh I have my, the links to my Twitter and my Twitch in the description down below. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed what you saw. Remember to hit that uh, notification bell if you do subscribe. Uh, I try to post videos every three, four days. Uh, I'm definitely going to be trying to finish up the entirety of Dredge as best I can. Because I really like this game. I want to try to give it the justice it deserves. While also, you know, being able to maintain work and school. But uh, I'm going to try to get a couple episodes recorded, you know, every couple of days to make sure I just have them scheduled to be posted. Um, if you noticed anything I didn't, or you just want to call me out for being a moron, uh, both are perfectly acceptable. Be sure to leave a comment down below, and thank you for tuning in.